going on guys? It's your boy, Shadowmaster G6, and today guys, we are gonna be talking about... Uh... <laughs> we're gonna be talking about, man, uh, What it's like going through BCT in Fort Jackson, and, uh, we're probably gonna talk about what my experience was, because I went through Winter Basic, and Winter Basic is a whole lot of different Summer Basic. And, uh, I mean, even though they're still basic combat trainings and stuff, they still, there's, there's a difference, <laughs> there's a really big difference, but anyways, uh, a couple shout outs here, I want to give a shout out first of all to myself for uh, being big and bad enough to start streaming on Twitch, so that's pretty good, yeah, you guys can um, follow my, uh, find me on Twitch, Shadowmaster G6, I'll put a bubble right here, right here, yeah, so I'm streaming now, so when I'm streaming, you know, come follow me eventually subscribe once I uh, get that power to have you guys do so um shout out to my boy Dio for uh, joining me on the journey of that was setting up my computer for streaming uh, shout out to uh, sweetest cupcake or uh, sweetest Nova something like that um, for encouraging me and giving me like a whole list of things that my channel should actually start doing that I should start doing here on my channel without further ado let's go ahead and get right on into the video here so BCT, going through BCT at Fort Jackson during the winter. All right, so I'm gonna walk you guys through a step-by-step -step thing. What like what what to like expect? What you're going to? What's at first going to happen when you first get there? So when you first get off your plane, there will be a drill sergeant in the airport waiting for you, and he's going to have you form up, and um, yeah, he's gonna have you take out your packets and stuff, and like. After you guys form up, you guys are gonna get a count, you gotta assign a roster, and then um, you're on the bus. Now, depending on what time it is, like we got there at the middle, like during the middle of the night, in the first couple days, there's a likelihood that you're not going to receive a lot of sleep. Because you have to, the first thing you do after you get on that bus, you're heading your butt straight to reception. And at reception, that's when you get all issued all your all your clothes, you get issued your your, uh, your PTs um, for you to um, put on because you're, you're uh, what do you call it, your uh, civilian, civilian clothes will be confiscated later, but that's like once you first get into the, you know, hard stuff. So uh, yeah, so after reception, you sign your papers, you go through gears, you um, get like, you get your bank account all set up and stuff, so that way, like, while you're there, you're getting paid for. You go through reception, you get your shots as well. Um, one thing for sure about reception that I can honestly say is reception is not BCT. Depending on how your group was with me, like with my group, we had, like, a really, really chill uh, drill sergeant at reception, and uh, it wasn't bad. And at reception, uh, it's... You're going to meet a lot of different people. There's people who have been hold, who are holdovers. There's people who are actually leaving the, um, like, they're getting discharged from the military. So you got to be really careful who you talk to because some people are going to give you, like, the bad impression. There's always going to be, like me, for me, I had a friend who went through, like, everything before I did. And he gave me, like, a heads up on what to expect, what to do, what not to do. Shout out to Derek, Derek uh, for that because, like, that came in clutch so I like I said I knew like what to do what not to do and stuff so um, after reception you'll be at reception for three four days it just depends on what time you guys get there but like like I said you're not gonna get a lot of sleep within those first couple days so like while you're on your plane while you're on your bus get in as much sleep as you possibly can because like we got there like late at night like like 10 or 11 ish and like they were really tempted to not let us sleep but for some reason like i said we got like a really chill drill sergeant and uh he uh he let us go to sleep so that way we'd be full of energy for the next couple days um, of getting vaccinated getting our shots and stuff uh you're gonna learn while you're at reception you're gonna learn about fire guard you're gonna be learning about uh all sorts of types of things there at uh at the reception battalion uh, I think it's called 120th, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure. It's all kind of bits and pieces here. So after reception, it's showtime, all right? So you got your duffel bags. You're ready to go. It's on to the buses. Your, your duffel bags are being loaded. Uh, one thing I want to say about the duffel bags, do not put your stuff in Ziploc bags because it will only extend the time. 
Is that your, uh, what is it? Your shark attack will go on. So I know it's gonna be like, oh yeah, no, you want your bag to be as light as possible. Just embrace the suck, okay? Because either way, you're going to be lifting the, the freaking bag above your head and running in place regardless. So, shark attack. You're gonna drive not very far from um, 120th and you're going to have to have a shark attack. And when I say shark attack, I mean you get off the bus, and I mean fast. You have to do everything fast. You're going to get off the bus, and the drill sergeants are going to yell at you a lot. And, I mean, for me, as long, like I said, as long as you do what you're doing and don't stand out, like certain people who are, like, looking directly at the drill sergeants, like me, the drill sergeants would just pass me by, and I'd just be staring straight forward. They didn't even, they didn't come for me. The guy in front of me, he... Got, he got ganged. He, he got ganged up on by like all the drill sergeants. They like circled around him and then they, they were just yelling at him. It was, it's The drill sergeants aren't going to touch you unless you pass out. Because um, for the shark attack, I advise drinking a lot of water prior to doing that. Uh, prior like before like shipping out and stuff like to um, your battalion and stuff. Because the shark attack can last, it, it, depending on your drill sergeant, it can last... Anything between 30 minutes to an hour to more. Like I said, it just depends on your on your drill sergeant. Some drill sergeants won't have it last that long. Some drill sergeants will have you being out there like all freaking day. That day for us, it was a really, really hot day. Even though it was winter, the uh, our, drill, uh, our drill sergeant, Joe Sergeant Evans, he, um, yeah, no, he had us out there for a minute. He was, he was just like, you guys have been out here for... 45 minutes already trainees keep going put those bags up run in place drink water and like drinking water is just so important I cannot stress enough drink water because we have this guy who wasn't drinking water and He passed out, but there's more to that. Okay, so When you're there when you're at reception They will tell you when you're at it doesn't even matter not even just that reception they will tell you what the uniform is, when to wear it, what time you need to be down there in. And so the day had started off really, really chilly. So I got, I guess this guy decided to wear his like silks, which are basically just like undergarments that like really close your body and like reflect the, the body heat onto you. So by the time we got there during the shark attack, he had his silks on and he passed out. That was it. GG, done, he was done. So. So far, what you just should learn is do what the drill sergeants tell you, wear the proper uniform, drink water. So, um, after the shark attack, I don't want to say it's going to become easy, but just the first 72 hours of basic combat training, like once you actually start, are going to be a living nightmare. You guys are going to be doing so many push-ups, so many sit-ups. Like, whatever they have you doing, they will have you doing all types of stuff. Uh, I know a battalion who had to take, like, take down their beds and stuff. Like, we have bunk beds and stuff. They, they had to physically take their beds down and take them outside and then bring them back up as fast as possible. Like, it's crazy. Your drill sergeants are going to give you literal hell. And you think at nighttime that it's over, but it's not over because you have fire guard, you have fire guard, and sometimes the drill sergeants will come in during the night and smoke the living dog crap out of you. And I, I mean, I won't call it, I, I guess I shouldn't, uh, one of my drill sergeants like to call it getting scuffed up. He wouldn't say smoking because like, it's actually quite rare when you get smoked. But a scuffing is just, it's corrective training. It's just push-ups, sit-ups, whatever it is that you guys did, that you guys messed up, they're going to teach you to fix it and not do that. So. That's that's pretty much what that is. Um, some things for bait, like some like uh, here's a bit of advice on my end. What I did, I went in trying super duper hard, and I mean, of course, trying hard isn't that bad. But I guess to a lot of people, like it was annoying, and uh, like I even got called a prick at some point, even though I was trying to be helpful, and like I didn't see it. But um, one other mentality that you have to come in with is. You have to remember that everybody isn't from where you are. Not everything's gonna translate to where, like you guys are, 
buddy buddy. Like if you do something, you might offend somebody. You gotta you gotta really like be um, cognitive of like your surroundings and stuff and who you're with and stuff. Uh, like okay, so basic combat training isn't hard at all because the drill sergeants are literally going to dot like spoon feed you like what to do like how to put take apart your weapon how to throw a grenade all that good stuff they're literally gonna sit there and teach you and if you don't get it then you're gonna keep doing it until you get it um don't do anything stupid don't steal from people obviously just do like like in essence all i can like really say like all of this that i've told you th thus far can all be summed up in be smart don't be too smart and just do what you're told that's like literally, I can literally just sum up this entire video thus far into that. Just do what you're freaking told. Don't overthink it. Do exactly what you're told. Okay? Now, eventually, depending on who your drill sergeant is, eventually they will loosen up. Like, they'll ease off the gas, you know? Like, like with our group, they like our drill sergeants, they eased off us because we were, we were like, I don't want to say the best platoon, but like we, we responded like really fast to what like we were told to do. So our platoon had it like comparatively better. And even though like we messed up a lot and stuff, I don't think our platoon got smoked as nearly as much as some of the other platoons did. And like, that's one thing that I can actually say that we like really did, but um, yeah, okay, so some questions that are frequently asked when you're in BCT. Do you have your cell phone? No, you don't have your cell phone. You, it, Depending on the drill sergeant and depending on how you guys are acting, you may get a, f a phone call during the weekend. Maybe not every weekend. Like for us, we got ours every every weekend that um we had a uh, phase shift. So like every three weeks we were like able to call our family and stuff. And then towards the end, we were able, like, we would like, realistically, you really don't have your phone until like the last day there. Like family day and uh, graduation day. Those are like the only two days like like you'll really have your phone. For us, we went through winter base, basic, so um, it was cold. So make sure that you guys are taking care of you guys, uh, of yourselves. You have to, um, even though like they're gonna be putting out the uniform and stuff, still make sure that you go by that uniform. I don't care where you're from, if you're from like, like Chicago or like Maine or something make sure that you put on your warm like your like your wet weather gear or whatever and also if they tell you to pack something freaking pack it this one day it was a beautiful day out and they told us to bring our wet weather gear regardless there was a bunch of people who were like oh no I'm not gonna bring my wet weather gear bring what they told you to do uh, what they told you to bring because for us it started raining hard like like, I was really glad that I personally had brought my wet weather gear because it started coming down. Like, really, like, it was really, really bad. It was one of the most uncomfortable bus rides back to the rain, uh, back to the bay. Um, bay living. Make sure you guys clean up a lot. Like, make sure that your space is clean. Make sure your bed is, like, I guess uniform, I guess you can say, because they're gonna teach you how, to, how they want their beds, you know, hospital corners and all that. And um, yeah, there's there's not a lot that I can really tell you. Just make sure your bays are clean. Make sure you have the proper uniform on. And I, when I say proper uniform, let me elaborate. Make sure you have your PC, your name tapes, your freaking, like if, if you're in a PT uniform, if they say wear your hat and gloves, bring your freaking hat and gloves, don't. <coughs> Don't lose your hat and gloves and make sure that you stay accountable for your hat and gloves. Anyways, um, I think I've told you like pretty much the basics and like how to like survive BCT, but I don't think I told you what I really wanted to tell you, like what to expect, but yeah, just do what you're supposed to do, wear the proper uniform, keep your blades clean, and make sure you shower. Like, no one wants to smell you. Like, shower, bro. Always shower. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something from this and learned something. If you guys have any questions, be sure to go down in the comments and I'll respond as soon as possible. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you go like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we've got for the day. This is the Shadow Master, signing off.